Hello friends. Before I get into today's topic, I just want to say thank you for all the positive feedback, especially comments and subscriptions. Makes me feel all warm and fuzzy inside and definitely helps with motivation to create more content. Now let's get started. In this video I will show you a basic yet powerful method of manipulating games. We will edit the game's memory or RAM. There are many things one can do when messing with RAM, like calling in-game functions or hooking them. But let's start with the most simple thing. Edit one value at one location. This could for instance be our character's health, or the amount of ammunition we have, our current high score, or the amount of lives we have. Our target of choice is yet again Suma, but this method works for any game. At least for any offline game. With online game it depends where the particular value is stored. On our local machine or on the server. To find the right address in memory and to edit the value we will use the software Cheat Engine. There are other options but again this is an introduction so let's start simple. Fire up Cheat Engine and attach it to the target process. Now to looking for an address. Let's try and find the address where our current in-game score is stored. If you don't know what type of value you are looking for, picking value type all is a good idea. The only other thing we will change in the search settings is the scan type. For this example scan type exact value will do the job just fine. We input our current score as value and hit first scan. This lists all addresses within the game memory where such a value is stored. On the top left you can see the total amount of found addresses. We change our current score and look for the new value by hitting next scan, reducing the amount of found addresses. We repeat this process until we found the right one. In this case there seem to be two promising addresses. Double clicking them will store them in the table at the bottom. Notice how one of them immediately changes to the final score while the other one seems to count up. The later probably has to do with the UI where you can see the value also counts up. So the first option seems like the better choice when it comes to manipulating the score. Let's try and change the value by double clicking on it and changing it to something real high. Now let's check if our score in game changes. Wonderful, it works. While this is great and all, there is a problem. The address we found is not permanent. Meaning if we close the game and reopen it, the value will almost certainly be stored at a different location. So what we need is a way or path to the found location which does not change. This is called static address or static pointer. I will show you one way of doing this with Cheat Engine. Again, this is not the only way and definitely not the most elegant one either, but it will do the job. Right click the address we just found and click on pointer scan for this address. Leave everything unchanged for now and hit OK. Let's save this pointer list and name it something like score 1. Now we have a ton of paths but a lot of them won't be static. So what we gotta do is close the game, do not close cheat engine and reopen the game, find out the new memory address and hit pointer scanner, rescan memory and put in the newly found address there. What this does is check the path found previously for those that still point at the right address and delete all the others. Depending on the situation you may have to do this same process many times. Reducing this list to as little paths as possible is the goal. After being done with this, add one or more of those paths to the lower list on the main window by double clicking them. Reopen the game one last time and check if the address still works. If it does, well done, you now have found your first static address. With this address you can now write your own software or hack and manipulate the score at any time. How to write such a code in C++ will be the topic of my next video. In summary we now know how to manipulate single values in a game. Next time we will learn how to do the manipulation part with our own application. And further down the line we will look at calling and or manipulating in-game functions. But for now I hope you had a pleasant watching and or listening experience. Please do give me some feedback, it really does help out big time. Consider subscribing if you would like to see more and I will talk to you again really soon.